So if you have a PlayStation 4 controller that isn't working, what you're going to want to do is follow these specific steps to see if this helps your PlayStation 4 controller. And it should help and uh, fix it. So we're going to just... So the last thing you're going to want to do after your PlayStation 4 controller isn't working, and the most important thing is press a pin into this little hole right there next to the screw behind uh, on the back of the controller. If you can see that, let me try to get a zoom in on it. Um, if you can see the hole right there, you just push a pin through that hole, hold it for 30 seconds, then let go, and then um, once you do that, you will uh, have the controller reset. You're going to reconnect it to the PlayStation uh, with the cable, um, and then once it's reconnected with the cable, it should work 100% better. So do all the steps before, regardless, um, and then once you've completed all those steps, you can move on to this step. And that's basically how you're going to get your PlayStation 4 controller to work. So thank you guys for watching. This is the tech space. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Is um, Have the controller and use a, the cable to just connect it to the PlayStation. You see if that helps. So you're going to take the cable, connect it to the PlayStation, then just connect it to the controller. It's pretty simple. And just see if that helps. Uh with the connection now if your blue light's still not on it's still not connecting you're going to want to go to the next step which i'm going to show you guys right now. if that's not working the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your playstation have it loaded up uh on the home screen just go up go all the way to the right to settings click on settings you're going to want to go from here to um your devices once you hit devices go to controllers which is just three down, so go three down to controllers, and then you're going to want to disable the vibration on it, turn the controller off for 30 seconds, and then reconnect it. If you want to turn the vibration on after you reconnect it, then go ahead, but this should fix your PlayStation 4 controller. Um, if not, there's one last.